come by. All right, Sportsman Channel fans, I'm Larry Vickers, host of TAC TV. I'm gonna take you through the concept of the switch shoulder drill. Now, the theory behind this is, I am a left-handed shooter, I'm using left side cover, and then for whatever reason, I need to switch shoulders with my carbine, in this case, my Bravo Company training carbine, and I'm gonna switch shoulders to my right side. I'm gonna take you through it here. This is my Blue Force Gear Signature Quick Adjust Two-Point Sling, all right? So if I come up on target, when I'm done engaging, I need to go to the other side, make sure the gun's on safe, finger straight, maintain muzzle awareness. In this case, because my sling is attached back here, I'm gonna have to get my hand out and turn this into a neck loop. I run out all my slack with my pull tab on my Vickers sling. Then I grab the gun in front of the magazine well. I take my arm out. Now when I got it now, I've got it loose hanging around my neck like a neck loop. Now I'm gonna switch my hands and feet with the muzzle down so the sling goes underneath, not over top the buttstock. It looks like this, real simple. I come back up, get my hand back out here. Now I'm in a position to manipulate the safety with my right thumb and come up and engage. That's the basic concept behind it. It'll vary somewhat depending on the sling you use and also where it's attached, case in point. If you have it attached to the rear of the receiver here versus the rear of the buttstock, good chance you won't have to take your arm out and turn it into a neck loop. The downside to that is the gun wants to hang more Horizontal, so you got to maintain better muzzle awareness. The plus to having it attached back here, when I release my firearm, it naturally hangs muzzle down. This is something, once again, at first is a little awkward. You need to dry fire it at home, get the procedure down. So once again, when you got to do it for real, it's something you don't have to be thinking through. It's something you do on autopilot. But the good news is after doing it for 10, 15, 20 minutes, it becomes second nature. Now I got a couple jugs down there, Al-Qaeda jugs, and I'm going to bust them one from the left side, I'm gonna switch shoulders and bust one from the right side. Stand by. Okay, anchor the gun, put it on safe, take out all my slack, grab it in front of the magwell, neck loop, switch my hands and feet. That's how it works. Now remember, this is gonna be situation dependent in this case, because of the situation I was in, for demonstration purposes, I went from left to right side cover. I decided to take the time to switch my hands and feet and basically represent the minimum amount of silhouette on the right side of cover. That mandated me shooting from the right shoulder, therefore I had to switch shoulders using my sling. 